What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, more Birthright for you here today. So we have another particularly powerful Wizard Realm spell as we continue our series here in the form of Rays. And this one falls under Invocation or Evocation. And again, this is another one that is certainly up there in requirements and uh, very, very potent as well. So lots of uh, pretty high level requirements here. So it's going to cost you 10 Regency per structure level in uh, whatever structure you're trying to essentially damage or bring down. Two gold bars per damage level as well. And then as far as your magical abilities, really, it's going to require a level five source, which are not always, you know, or really are not all that common uh, unless you're in the more uh, undeveloped areas. So possibly going to have to have a ley line to some distant uh, source that actually has a level five um, level. Uh, and then your character level also has to be at least level seven. So kind of mid-level in order to have this uh go off so it does limit some of the npcs out there um there's not always that many high level ones but there's certainly enough to where this this uh, is certainly a viable option that they could bring against you duration instantaneous here so castles and fortifications can be reduced to rubble by means of this spectacular realm spell now reducing a castle's level one step costs again 10 regency points so raising a level five castle right is going to cost 50 regency that's a hell of a lot to have accumulated for a wizard in a lot of cases um there is no limit to the amount of damage that a mage can cause to a castle through one spell um, they may simply reduce it in level or may destroy it outright as long as they're willing to pay the required regency materials and preparation cost two gold bars per level of damage as well and so again just using that level five example having access to 10 gold bars to nuke a level five castle is also the requirement fortified holdings can be reduced to normal holdings through the spell but they are not otherwise damaged Wizard must be in sight of the castle uh, or holding to be raised when the spell is cast and the preparations must be performed on the site. So certainly, you know, with most castles probably would be pretty obvious that, you know, you're, you're there to, or that you're going to be spotted. So this would, this would be maybe a trickier one to pull off if the enemy is expecting you. But again, just the threat that some wizard could show up and, you know, even, well, I guess possibly magically conceal themselves or some other way of doing this um, is, is, is a pretty nasty threat. So, um, and again, using some of the other spells out there, you know, if the wizard shows up with a legion of dead or other things, uh, just other crazy things going on, or, you know, a wizard um, in the employ of another domain ruler, this, you know, a wizard rocking up, you might have to huddle behind your castle, but really, again, you're not going to be safe because they could really just drop it with enough um, resources here. So really nothing is safe potentially if a wizard can meet these requirements and have the resources certainly to pull this off. So again, doing some accurate recon on any NPCs, uh, domain rulers that you're going to be engaging with, certainly this could certainly be a powerful one. Also, just as a more independent mage, if you're kind of looking, you're short on resources and looking maybe to have a, or hire out your, your skills to another uh, domain ruler, this could certainly be something that they were looking for and having this, um, this particular spell at their disposal should they decide to expand their territories. So again, overall, a pretty nasty spell. And again, the wizards, certainly have some just absolutely spectacular spells at their disposal, as we've seen here in some of the most recent videos in our series. So they certainly have some subtler ones and maybe less overtly powerful ones, but uh, they certainly also have these sort of mass destruction type of spells, uh, specifically the mass destruction spell, but also this where we can also just essentially reduce castles uh, to their foundations with given enough resources. So let us know, guys, if this has come up in your campaigns at all, whether you've used it as the wizard in question or have had to deal with wizards who've had access to this or uh, in some other way encountered this um, nasty, nasty spell and how that's shaped or altered the campaign in question. So hit us up in the comments there, guys. Like and subscribe, and we will have more Birthright for you soon as we work our way through the remaining Wizard Realm spells.